Well, let's see, we know initial velocity, we know acceleration, since we're on the Earth. We can use the same trick to know the velocity at the top of the trajectory is zero, and we're looking for the time. Okay, these four variables correspond to this equation, v equals v naught plus at. Plugging in, my velocity at the top is zero, my initial velocity is 20, plus my acceleration, which is negative 10, times time. If I solve this, I find that time equals two seconds. That makes tons of sense. We know the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second per second. If I start off with a velocity of 20 meters per second going up, I'm going to lose 10 meters per second every second. So it's going to take two seconds for this velocity to go down to zero. And that's the top of my trajectory.